Hello guys, I'm Shyan from Simplex and today we are going to talk about a different kind of product. Well, it's not exactly a product. It's a video to help you decide the best audio setup for your computer or laptop. Most of the times when we build a PC, we forget one particular thing. We get the graphic card, get an awesome CPU, you know, get a lot of RAM. But what about the experience? In the experience, there's something outside the video. There's the audio. And that is what this video concentrates on. You get those awesome headphones and earphones, but directly plug it into your computer's front port. Or you get a speaker and put it into its rear port. Now, granted, you you would say there's a sound card, Shyan, and th that sound card is awesome. I've got the Asus Zonar or something. But there's a fundamental difference between what you do and what I'm going to suggest right now. What happens is inside your computer, there are a lot of wires. You see, a lot of electric electrical signals, sorry, is being transmitted. That results in a lot of electromagnetic induction and interference from the other wires. Say there are two wires, one is transmitting this way, the signals, one is going this way. And obviously there's interference. Anyone who has studied basic physics knows that, you know, school grade physics. So how do we counter that? Your computers are outfitted with something called USB ports that can actually transmit signal in binary that is ones and zeros and remember guys binary signals are not susceptible to electrical interference because they are being directly you know outputted in the binary the digital format okay and not in the analog format so if you get something like this a very small puny looking aluminium clad digital to analog converter this one is uh, one by Fio Olympus 2. This also has a built-in amplifier. I take the output from one of the USB ports, put it into its input port, and boom! It has uh, an awesome headphone output, uh, also another digital output that can go into your home theater, and also a line-out. You know, you can draw in additional outputs from it. Now, what this does, it gets the undistorted, absolutely clear signal from your computer into this. And then this actually converts the digital signal into analog signal and transmits it out. Right? As a result, you have a completely undistorted signal in your headphones. Now, the next part is, what do these exactly do? I mean, you know, does this actually add color to your sound? There are many DACs available. Now, I have bought this particular particular FIO model because this, if you go to FIO's website, they show an absolute flat frequency response. And I've tested it out too. And it does have a flat frequency response. There's a bass option. If you kick that in, you know, you get a plus three decibel boost in the lower frequency range. That's it. Now, on the screen, if you can see, Abhishek, can they see the screen? Yeah. yeah. On the screen, I have one of the most expensive, not the most expensive, but one of the most expensive DSCs available in the market. That is uh, Sennheiser HD VA 600, guys. That is around 1,20,000 Indian currency. And there's also its bigger brother available, the HD VD 800. That is 1,50,000, guys. So you must be thinking I'm absolutely crazy, right? I'm suggesting things that are so expensive. Not really. The one in my hand, does the job you know pretty well in my setup I pair my FIO Olympus 2 E10K with my Sennheiser HD 558H to get the best possible sound from my PC now you might disagree with me and say you know what's the point of spending 5000 rupees behind a DAC but if you actually look at it any decent sound card costs from 3000 to 7000 rupees and then again sound cards are susceptible to the interference inside your case. They might say it's magnetically shielded, blah, 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 but at the end of the day, it is susceptible. That is why they are magnetically shielding it. On the other hand, in case of DACs, you actually get to have the direct 
digital signal. Now, coming to the other uses of a DAC or and also an amp built into it. You can be a musician, you, you know, you might play the guitar. There are DACs available with guitar inputs. You can get zero latency monitoring with, with your headphones and a guitar input into your DAC. And remember, since you're using the USB interface, anything and everything is possible. You know, the guitar input goes in, the audio output comes out, and a lot of other possibilities open. So, I suggest guys, today, study more about the digital to analog conversions and amplifiers that are available out in the market before you splurge cash on the audio setup of your next computer. Guys, hopefully you like this video. We try to simplify things as much as possible for you guys, just like this DSE topic. Anyway guys, if you like this video, like this video. If you did not like it, dislike it, but let us know how can we improve ourselves. And lastly and most importantly guys, please subscribe to our channel. Oh, and before I go, if you have any such topics in mind, do let us know in the comments and we will try to cover it ASAP. Over and out.